What's up guys and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and today we're going to be continuing on of course with our wonderful, wonderful adventure and um, we did a lot of progress in the last episode and I'm a little nervous because I think this lady wants to tussle with us so I'm going to try to sort of make my way around this way. There's no way she's not here to tussle with us. Look at this, she's a part of the evil tribe clan. Oh my gosh, totally. If she's still standing out here after a while, maybe I'll go because usually they travel around. But we're at Dueling Peak Stable. What's going on here? I can give you directions. To where? Hey. Welcome to Dueling Peak Stable. What do you think of the place? Pretty nice, yeah? It might be hard to imagine now, but this place was nearly destroyed about 100 years ago. However, thanks to the blessings of Dueling Peaks, everything is full of life again. Even the wild horses are back. There's a lot of energy in this place. So, where are you heading? Both Krakarika Village and Hita, Hatino Village are nearby. We're going to go to Hatino Village. Hatino Village? <laughs> Hatino Village is a village on the edge of Hyrule. It was largely unaffected by the events of the Great Calamity, so the people there are pretty easy going. I hear that they even have a research center, but folks tend to avoid the weird scientist who lives there. Anyway, head north from here until you reach the fork in the road, then go east and just follow the road. It's a little far uh, far if you walk it, but with a horse, you should get there in under a day. Leave it to Ren Renza to tell you about the roads around this area. Uh, goodbye. Everything looks just as it always has, but the effects of the Great Calamity still linger. For examples, a lot of for example, a lot of monsters come out at night, so be careful when the sun sets. Will do. <laughs> All right then. So what's go going on in here? We got this guy playing his thing. No, 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 I thought he was playing the flute. See, I bet it's over here. Hmm, what's going on, dudes? I got the scoop on Misko's treasure, and it's great. Listen up, Dak. Prison, hang on. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, they're twins. Hey, buddy, what's your problem? You are being incredibly rude and listening to our conversation, are you? We're the treasure hunters, one of the, on the trail of our latest score, the treasure of the great bandit Misko. It's as good as ours. Prison, you're going to give it all away. Sorry, Dak, I get carried away. Anyway, uh, we're bu we're busy here, dude. If you need something, take it up with someone else. If you say so. <laughs> You're pulling out my weapon like I'm all intimidating. There's actually people sleeping here. One one color horsey, two one color horses. Who would be able to sleep in an environment like this? I just feel like there's like too much going on. <laughs> I don't know. Is she still standing there? She is, I do not trust it. She is totally here to destroy my face open. Here, let me go ahead and save. I'll save right now, because she totally is. I'm gonna go ahead and get my weapon. And let's see if I can't do something about this. If she's just a normal NPC, she won't let me attack her anyways. So I'm gonna sneak up behind this lady. I wanna give her a good whacking. Ah, this is the life. Is it the life? Is it the life, lady? Five, four, Three, two, one. Yeah, oh, no, you're fine. Good evening, <laughs> don't see a whole lot of travelers passing through. She is totally one of the evil people. You know, with how peaceful it is around here, it's sometimes easy to forget that the world has almost ended a year ago, but there are still monsters wandering around, and this area near Hyrule Castle is especially dangerous. If you're going to be traveling, you should know a thing or two about elixirs. No, she's actually a normal person. This game has excellently fooled me. <laughs> elixirs? You can make elixirs by mixing bugs and other small creatures with monster parts. Uh, most of them are no good for refilling your health, but they can have a lot of unique effects. Some elixirs can increase your speed, others raise your resistance to extreme temperatures. I'm actually impressed that you've made it this far without any knowledge of elixirs. I can't have it on on my conscience if there's something happens to you from here, so I'll give you one of mine. Ooh, the hasty elixir grants you a low level haste effect which boosts your movement speed while running, swimming, or climbing. But how do you make one? Do you just make it like with like, like, like one of those grindy things or do you, can you cook it? Using a hasty elixir increases your run speed so I use it to escape enemies for or any time I need to hurry. Uh, the recipe is just like high tail lizard and monster parts so I usually have a stock of 10 or so on hand. Interesting, I'm glad you weren't here to devour my soul. You know, that that's one person out of everybody in the world, so you know what, that's a good start. There's a bunch of stuff over here. Can I take it? Is it worth taking? We're gonna find out in today's episode. Give me some of those apples. We got a torch, we got some wood. I'll gladly take the wood. There's goats everywhere. These are like domesticated goats as well, so that's pretty cool. Doggy! Hi, doggy, can I pay you? I can't pay you? Can I spin around? 
in front of your face? No? Okay. See ya. Uh, ooh. Woodcutter's axe. I'll take one. And then if I smash this up. I mean, I'm totally stealing right now and I sort of feel awful, but there were so many arrows in there. I really needed that. We have 17 of them now. I just bought a bunch too. Ah, oh, that one. Oh, hey, you're new too. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, sorry. I didn't notice you. I was a bit lost in my thought there. I've been doing rigorous research day in and day, and wait, wait, day and night to figure out the mystery of the blood moon. The blood moon? You don't know of it? That's inexcusable. Listen up and I'll tell you about it. For 100 years now, every so often the clock strikes midnight. The sky turns red and the, and the full moon rises. At that moment, monsters that had been previously defeated will come back to life. And that's what is known as the blood moon. Why did the monsters return to life? Why does it only happen when the sky turns red? No one really has the answers to those questions. It's a mysterious phenomenon. If you learn anything about the blood moon as you travel, be sure to come back and tell me. Sure thing, dude. Okay, so where's my map at? I gotta pull my map, my map, my map, my map. We were supposed to go this way. I sort of got distracted because, no wait, that's the wrong way. Wait, which way do we have to go? We gotta go this way. So we gotta follow north until it forks. Go right. Yeah, yeah they, we came down from there and I got distracted. Okay, so yeah, we gotta make our way back up. This way, I'm going the right way, right? Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, correct directions. I need, oh no, I'm leaving, I'm leaving Sky behind. Where's Sky at? I wanna go ahead and try to find Sky. <gasps> Sky, I missed you. Let's go ahead and uh, ride on Sky. No, I, I already talked to you. Don't give me a hey. I, I'm, I'm done being hey All right, let's go. Yeah, wait, yeah, yeah. Haha, <laughs> now Sky only has two spurs, but some of them have others. It's in interesting how um there's like horses with different stats. Now we gotta go this way. Oh, it's starting to rain though. I don't know if Sky likes running in the rain. She likes it when it's a nice blue sky. <laughs> then she feels like she's blending in, sort of. She's a very beautiful horse though. Um, she's not very happy right now. I don't know what's up with that. It's okay. Ah, oh, look, she loves us. I love you too. All right, we gotta go this way. Uh oh, keys, keys. I gotta just keep running, keep running. Come on, we got this. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Let's blow these guys out of here. There you go. Blow them in the dust. There you go. So let's keep going. Oh, no, I don't have that. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You're the best. I wish it was like a give carrot button. I mean, ah, whoa, hold on, <laughs> jump over them. <laughs> keep running. We don't need any of these guys. I mean, I could try to bow and arrow them, but I'm probably gonna miss, because I don't play this game enough, so I'm really not very skilled. Not only that, but, um, I don't know. Oh, there's a Bokoblin who's actually sleeping. Boink, ha <laughs> ha, get got. Whoa, whoa, where are you going, horse? Where are you going, horse? Okay, he's mad at me now. I guess it's really not worth it if I'm gonna, here, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa. Wait, did he just go back to sleep? I think he went back to sleep. Okay, you know what? Let's let bygones be bygones, Sky. Let's keep going. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, uh, there's more of these destroyed things. I don't know if uh, we're gonna run into issues because of it, but this area really is dangerous. There's like stuff all over the place. Trying to attack us, ow! I was trying to turn, you know. I was I was truly trying to turn. Okay, back it up, back it up. Turn a little bit. Riding the horses is actually like a learned skill. It's pretty difficult. If like, I point my camera towards what I want, like he just sort of goes where he wants, or she, whatever works. Um, she just sort of goes where she wants most of the time and not all the time. It's really weird. So this is where things get a little awkward because this, is where the map ends. Oh, I can go through here though. This, I'm getting a little nervous though. Fort Hatino. So we're going through Fort Hatino to the Hatino village. Oh wow, there's people here. All right, you stay here. Stay beautiful. Hello, dude. He's sleeping. Um, straight up snoozing. Yo, dude, wake up. Sit by the fire now. I just want to chat to you. You're waking up now. Um, I, I wasn't sleeping. I wasn't. I was praying for the souls of a warrior and all who died, or the souls of the warrior and all who died here at Fort Hatino. That's totally a different thing. You're welcome to join me if you want. Sure. That's a pretty enlightened thing to say for such a young kid. Fort Hatino here was the last line of defense between Hatino Village and the terrible tragedy all those years ago. If not for this fort and the soldiers who held the line here, Hyrule as we know it might have gone, might have been gone entirely. It's our duty as the survivors to pray that those who gave their lives find peace and to pass on the story of the warrior. 
<laughs> hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hiya! Oh! Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to bring up a different weapon. More suited for combat. Let's do uh so just broadsword! Nice. Give me those stuff, give me those stuff. Mm. I don't hear anybody else. So I think that's where we're gonna leave it for now. Don't know if he wants anything more, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up this. But so this area seems to be relatively peaceful. There's a beehive over there I'm not too interested in. Yeah, it looks like there's actually resins. Oh, this is the donkey dude. Yo, donkey dude, how you doing? I saw you at Kakarika Village. Ah, oh, so sleepy, eh? it is three in the morning. The food stuff you get in Hadino Village are way fresher than anywhere else. The vendors there know it soon. And on that note, I love if you brought bought something, but I mean, I'm happy just to show you what I've got for sale. The rest is up to you. Let's, does he have anything new and interesting? Um, Goat butter, fresh milk, and a bird egg. Don't know really what I could use that for. I mean, hold on, hold on. How much health does like fresh milk restore? Half a heart. So this must be, you know, like obviously a, more of a cooking ingredient than anything else. You can't even eat the butter. I mean, you could, but I don't think he'd be fighting. He'd probably be running to the bathroom. Um, so what is this? There's a little shed over here and, and tons of apples. Hello? <laughs> I, do, I do not knock. Knocking is not a thing they learned. When a dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes, pierce its gaze to purge the steel, the seal from its from the shrine. I'm not wrong, am I? It must be around here, there. What are you up to? Ha! Let me guess. You caught one of the great Dr. Callum's groundbreaking research and just had to meet him here for yourself. <laughs> No, don't tell me you've never heard of me after I've dedicated my life to researching the ancient shrines. Well, you'd better remember my name, for it's not the last you'll hear of it. And while I'm at it, this Dr. Callop, or it's Dr. Callop, if you please. I didn't study my rear end off to be called Mr. Callop. Everyone forgets I'm a doctor for some reason. And since you asked, I'll inform you that my in I'm engaged in analyzing ancient texts. I have not time for idle chit-chat. Ancient texts? Soon my long years of research will be revealed and all the world will hail it as the discovery of the century. To prevent any undue attention, I haven't even told my family about my work. You understand, I'm sure. Of course, Dr. Callop. Doctor, or Mr. <laughs> did, did I just hear you call me doctor? As in, not merely Callop, but Dr. Callop? It rolled off your tongue so naturally. It was downright salivary. This changes things. Very well then, I'm feeling charitable, so I'll tell you, I'll let a few things spill. This is just between us, understand. When a dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes, pierce its gaze to purge the seal from the shrine. What does that mean? I'm still in the process of deciphering that one, so I don't suppose there's any harm in sharing it with you. And as my life in a nutshell, days filled with researching shrines and nights spent studying ancient texts. That leaves no time to converse with passing strangers, so farewell. Ooh, the cursed statue. Cool, hold on, where's Sky at? Sky's over here. There is a jelly though, get out of here jelly. I don't need no jelly right now, can we get this? Thank you. Yeah, let me get a few of these actually, if I can. <laughs> They're beautiful, the wonderful. Sky, come back! Where you going? Where you going, Sky? I got you, I got you. Let's go. <laughs> I'm having so much fun playing this game. Oh, it looks like there is a uh, Baka Blin tribe over here maybe? Oh, there's a ton of them. But there is a chest. It's tempting, I haven't gotten a Boca Blunt chest in a while. I just wanted to sort of like, get some of the main quests in, but I think that next episode, we gotta sort of head back to the area we began in and do a bit of exploration. Like try to get some extra shrines done if we can, of course. Um, Try to get some health bonuses. That would be a really big thing right now. Let's slow down here. Um, That would be really good. And then I think that would help me catch up because right now I feel like I'm definitely fighting at a disadvantage. That was dumb of me, I gotta say. That was like genuinely dumb. Uh, let's do the, the Spike Boko Club. That should be good. There we go. I don't know if this is really gonna work. Okay, fine then. Uh, Not a problem right there. I got more arrows out of it, so at the end of the day, I feel like it was sort of kind of worth it. It's just these guys, right? If I could find a way to take advantage of taking them out, that'd be good. Hmm, there's just so many of them. I just feel like I want to avoid combat as much as possible until we get to Atino Village, and I think maybe that's when I'll call it. What is this? Oh, it's a crying person. Oh, this is gonna be another one of those evil people in it. Oh, totally. You're crying. What's wrong? <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> I want. I need. I need. 
Creeled salmon. Y you what? Oh, totally. Look at their face. And also, the hero's life. <laughs> it's so obvious. You think you're a ninja. You ain't no ninja. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Um, let me get my cool sickle out that I actually got from destroying your friend. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh, these guys are too good at their job. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, <laughs> I am so awful at this game. And just like unapologetic too. Just, just naturally awful. I feel like that's like my category. Zebra Gamer, naturally awful. Buy one today. Boom. I got you a little bit there. I gotta like, I gotta remember to jump. Whoop. <laughs> Where are you going down? Oh, get you. Okay, okay. Oh, I missed that. See how cool I am? Whoa, okay. My shield got you though. Hold on, hold on. No, I'm just trying to. Oh no, I'm calling the horse over. Not what I wanted. No, 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 no. Ow. Gosh darn it. You got me when I was calling my horse over. I call foul. All right, I need to go ahead and do this. Back to full though, and that's good. Um. Oh, dude, dude where are you? You're right here. What? Next time you go at me, dude, I'm gonna get you. I hope. What? What? Wow, yeah, I got you! Nice! And this doesn't seem like I actually take them out as much as they teleport away. We got mighty bananas and some rupees. Red rupee, 20 rupees, it's red luster tickles your heartstrings. Then we get a purple one as well. So 70 rupees there. Um, Sky, oh, here's Sky. Hey, Sky, how you doing? Let's get, let's hop back on you. And then let's uh, soothe you. Ah, I love it. I don't know like if there's gonna be a point in time where we can put a saddle on a horse and then, because if we can, Sky right here, definitely gonna be my dedicated horse. We've already gone through so much and we still got a long way to go. So we might as well try to stick on this main path that we can. I'm hearing noises as if, you know, we're battling. Because usually the piano starts picking up big time when you're battling. Let me slow you down. I don't see anything. I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here. And then, as long as Sky isn't in the way, which I don't think she is. Yep, she's fine. What is this gonna be? Ooh, there is just it has. Ya da da da, Amber. <laughs> Nothing crazy. Not at all. Bada bing, bada boom, let's go. Yeah. Okay, so maybe I'm on the wrong path. I think there's a path up there. But I think that maybe all paths go down the same route at the end of the day. Oh, here's a, oh gosh. Run, 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 Sky, run. We don't have to deal with these punks now, do we? As long as we run fast enough. This is actually like a pretty scary corridor. And those Bokoblins are pretty, you know, smart about it. Or Bokoblins. I hear like different people make YouTube videos on this, pronounce it all sorts of ways. So if I'm the only one, whoa, look at big dude over there. He's been eating his vegetables. Okay, hold on, I think I gotta go this way. But I gotta hop off. Okay, ready, boom. Stay there, Sky. Your horses are honestly hard to control. Okay, equestrian what? Riding course. Cool, we'll have to check that out at some point. Oh, oh, you are, I can see it a mile away, lady. Yeah, I can see them, no you don't. It's raining. Oh, well, it, they always have the same look to them. Look at it, look at it, you are totally one of them. Yeah. Maybe not, but whenever they have like the red incense and like sort of like a flat expression, I don't know what the purpose of your journey, but there's a place I recommend to pay a visit to. Deep in the recesses of Mount Lanayaru lies the Spring of Wisdom. Okay, whenever they have actually something of value to say, they're not usually. Okay, maybe I just need to stop prejudicing. It is a storied spring to which I am making my pilgrimage. Okay, well it looks like I'm going the wrong way then if you're going that way, because that is not the way I'm going right now. We gotta go this way. Let's go. But yeah, you guys showed a lot of love in the last episode, and I just wanna say thank you. I appreciate it. So I wanna keep pushing with this game. No, you know, Mr. Boca Blint, I don't wanna deal with it, so you're not gonna be dealt with it. Hey, it's sunny again. Eight in the morning, we've been charging all night. And so far, like, it looks like, I'm gonna guess that flag is Hatino Village. Like, if I check the map right now, we are inching our way over there, so hopefully soon we can do, can you stop? Horse, horse! <laughs> I don't know why she just sorta of does that. It's like, yo, this cliff, Looking tasty. It's like, it's not tasty. Don't do it. Yeah. All right. I'm hearing noise. I oh, 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 that's just, that's the noise of a shrine being there. Yikes, help. Oh gosh, somebody's being attacked. Stay here. I have people to save. Hold on. Oh. Gotcha. Gotcha. I'm gonna save you guys. Ready? What? Oh gosh. 
Superhero zebra on the way to save the day. Yeah. Okay. Hi, guys. <laughs> Thanks. I was starting to sweat until you showed up. Mighty, just take this fruit, take it. Mighty copious, slimmer, simmered fruit. Grants a low level attack, a power boost. The flavors of this various fruits in the simmered dish exist in perfect harmony. That's five hearts. Time to stop floofing around here. Let's get back to the hunt for hearty truffles. Okay. What do you gotta say? That was exciting up until it turned terrifying. Thanks for all of your help. Electro Prime Meat Curry. Six hearts. Grants low -like level elect electricity resistance. This, the, 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 the <laughs> I can't speak. The high quality meat in this curry has given it a deeper taste than most other curries. Uh. No problem, ladies. All in a day's work. It was my sister's harebrained idea to hunt the truffles here that got us into this mess. No problem. See ya. I want to. I'm gonna pick up this loot as much as I can take. Okay, where'd Sky go? Sky. Sky. Where'd you run off to, silly Ed? I hear you. I don't see you. Did we just lose Sky? Because you know the trade of. Oh no, there you are. I was gonna say I. I'll trade back those two ladies' life for Sky. I have an obvious, uh, what's it called? Uh, bias towards Sky. Okay, let's go. And here we are, I think we're at Hatino Village. Hatino Village, awesome. Whoa, what's up, what's up? Yo, what's up, dude? Who are you? Be on your way, you suspicious man. I'm a traveler. Hmm. You certainly do appear as a Helian like the rest of us. Or Hylian. Hylians are generally good folks, so sorry for getting all worked up. You're free to go. We just, uh, we, we're just a waypoint on your winding road, huh? Ah, uh, the life of a traveler. Well, you can get most things you need here at the general store, and the inn is just back there. Don't you touch my horse, buddy. There's so many people to talk to. That person's, oh, you're, but you're looking for ancient parts. Maybe I can sell something to you. Hey there, the name's Telly. I'm a bit of a treasure hunter if you get my drift. You want to know what, what what I do with all the guardian parts I find? There's a gentleman who works at the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. He never turns down the parts I bring him. Hey, hang on a minute. You don't suppose he's actually repairing the guardians, do you? Hey, question for you. Do you have any interest in guardian remains? Can I sell something? What did you want to sell? Do you buy my guardian remains? 15 each ain't too bad. But I think other merchants will buy it for the same price, so I'll hold off. Do you need anything else? Nope, just my phone alarm going off. Okay, let's make our way into the heart of the village now. I can always explore the town later, and I'm gonna, probably my goal will be to uh, get whatever quest relevant things we can get done right now, and then we're gonna go do that shrine up there. And, and if we still have time left in the episode at that point, maybe I can, uh, tell, I'll have to leave Sky behind though, unless you know, we find a way to uh, tame horses. Suit, Sky, come on. How about you two out here then? While I, while I get some questions and stuff, you just blend in, become a plant. You know, if I if I don't see you now, maybe I'll see you later. Hmm. There's tons of stuff to do here. I just really want to be able to get the uh, quest stuff done first, and then I can do all my exploring later. Just because I definitely still feel like I know oh, that guy definitely is a mini quest. Whenever they have the little red ex exclamation mark, I think they have they have some kind of quest entailed for you. There's a lot of children around here. Like there was only the two kids in Kakariko, but there's just tons and tons of children. We passed like three or four of them already. I'm sure there's more too. But we gotta go like all the way up here. I feel like we're leaving Hatino Village already. What what happened? Okay, this whole Hatino Village quest is starting to become a whole lot not about Hatino Village. Maybe I should have just stayed on Sky, but he she kept on trying to walk into a patch. Okay, you look like you're doing something. Hello. What a nice breeze. It doesn't carry that tang of salt on it though. What do you mean? Oops, I forgot we just met. I was reminiscing about my hometown of Laurelin Village by the scene. The view of the air, the view in the air are different here in Hatino Village, but this is where my wonderful husband calls home. I count myself lucky to be able to live and work alongside such a wonderful, loving man. Laurelin Village? It's a small fishing community far to the south. I lived there be and moved before I moved here with my new husband. We had to cross this bridge to he Hylian to get here and waited down with everything I couldn't bear to leave behind. Thinking back on it, it's a wonder either of us survived the trip. Cool. <laughs> I gotta go and do major questing to save the world. 
and the universe. And the galaxy, which is smaller than the universe. So why'd I choose that, you know, system of, you know, naming? Because I wanted to. Who's gonna stop me? It's already happened, you can't. Unless you're a time traveler. But, you know, if you were a time traveler, I'm pretty sure, you know, it would have happened. Because, you know, the time would have been changed. And now I'm just confusing everybody. Look at this, we're going up there. This really does feel like some Jack and Naxter level stuff. Look at that. That looks like one of the area, the one of the first areas in Jack and Naxter, like the, uh, what's it gone? What are these signs saying? So you probably like, don't come here. No soliciting. Oh, I'm gonna solicit. Whatever that means. You know, like hanging out. You know, like get a soda from the vending machine. What about this one? Probably the same thing. Mind the lanterns. <laughs> I probably shouldn't, you know, break my sickle on something so juvenile. I don't know what does this one say. Uh, enter at your own risk. What are we worried about? I don't know. Oh, this area is so nice. Oh, I like it, I like the telescope. Uh, if the flame is blue, the furnace is hot, do not touch. Hatino Ancient Tech Lab. Hey-o! What's going on, people? What you want from me? Hello. This is the Hatino Ancient Tech Lab. Do you have some business with the director? That's right. The director is in the back. A terribly busy person, that one. Please try to keep it brief. Okay. Is that you? Are you the director? Hello! I imagine you've never seen so many books in one place. Pretty incredible, isn't it? We've gathered all of Hyrule's known literature on ancient civilizations here. As for the actual numbers of books, well, hmm, about the price of like two Lamborghinis. Uh, is that the thing on your waist? Wait, is that thing on your waist? Is that a Sheikah? There's no mistaking it, that's a real Sheikah slate, isn't it? I've never actually seen one in person. If you could just show it to me, the runes on it, it, I'd be most appreciative. Stasis, ah, Magnesis, yes, yes. The remote bomb and cryo cryonis, what, and, and what else, let's see. So that's it for runes, but, hmm, strange. It doesn't seem like you have the basic runes. I don't understand why they're missing. There must be some reason. Ah, where are my manners? I nearly forgot to introduce myself. My name's Simon. You are? Link, right? You know my name? Lady Impa caught me up to speed. You see, we, we were told a young man holding a Sheikah Slate will appear, and you must do all you can to help him. He will be the hope that awakens the slumber of restoration. His name will be Link. Oh dear, I forgot to tell you something very important. What's up? Director, listen, Mrs. Director, this is the real Sheikah Slate. Director? Oh, that's right, I haven't interest, introduced you to our director. Where is she? Miss Pura happens to be right over there. As a Hatino Ancient Tech Lab director, Miss Pura is the world's foremost authority on ancient Hyrule culture. You mean the lady who told us to talk to you? Was she just like lying to us? Check in. But you just told me not. I have the utmost respect for Mrs. Pura and all she's accomplished. I'm honored to be her assistant. Oh, on that note, Link, you see the director may look like a young girl, but well, maybe it's not my place to be telling you these things. You should talk to Mrs. Purr herself, who told me to talk to you. Seeing the cycle goes on and on. Don't spill the beans. <laughs> hey, are you surprised? The director of this laboratory is not Simon, it's me. I didn't think, I just thought you were short. Snappity snap. I mean, you have white hair, so I figured you were just older. Uh, anyway, Linky, do you remember any dreams from your, from your time in the slumber of restoration? You don't look like you've changed a bit in the last 100 years, but something must have happened in all that time. Well, no matter, I'm just happy you're still in one piece. Linky, L Linky? What's with that look? You still remember me, right? I don't remember. Really? Well, I'm so shocked I don't know if I'll ever be able to recover from this. Even though 100 years ago, I took you to the Shrine of Resurrection after Calamity Gaiden fa fatally wounded you. And even though I was the one who put you safely in the, the slumber of restoration, despite all that, you still don't remember me? I don't remember. Hmm. As expected. After a hundred years in the slumber of restoration, subject has lost all memories. Noted. Oh, sorry. I have a bad habit of taking notes rather abruptly like that. It's a charming quirk, isn't it? Anywho, do you have any questions for me? Aren't you a child? How very rude. Hmm, or perhaps it's not rude at all. I suppose that's actually a rather logical question to jump to. The truth is, I look this way because of a failed experiment. Well, I say failed, but in some ways, it was a success. I documented the full fare in my diary upstairs, but the whole thing is embarrassing, so I insist you refrain from reading it. 
Anyway, enough about that. Back to the topic at hand. Here, here you are after a hundred years. Here to defeat Calamity Ganon, who is growing in strength in every path, passing moment. And to rescue our beloved Princess Zelda, that is, if you've got the courage to try. And to help the one true hero, I, the one and only Fur Puron, will restore the basic functions missing from, from the Sheikah Slate. And what do you say to that? Yes, please. I know you'd say that. All right then. First, I need this, the run and you to run an errand for me. Which with that look on your face, you didn't think I'd fix your Sheikah slate for free, did you? I did not. <laughs> Nothing's ever for free. Hmm, you're pretty considerate for a young person. But then I suppose that's because you're actually over a hundred years old. Let me explain what this errand entails. You know the unlit furnace on the wall just outside the laboratory. Could you please bring the blue frame from the ancient furnace in town? Oh, and also use it to light our furnace? The sweet little guidance stone will start the working once you, once you do that, allowing us to restore your missing runes. Huh, I wonder if young women these days still say things like sweet and level. Little, blah, 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 blah. Ah, well, I suppose it doesn't matter anyways. Okay then, I'm counting on you for that blue flame. All right. Locked Met Mementos, so where is that? That is right here, this is the main quest. Uh, the Hitino Engines Tech Lab Director can't fix the Sheikah Slate until the Guidance Stone is operational again. The only way to power the Guidance Stone is to light the furnace on the outer wall of the Tech Lab with a blue flame. Carry the blue flame from the ancient furnace in a Hitino village to the Tech Lab, uh, and use it to light the flame, the blah, 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 blah. I do so well, and then I do so awful. Um, so do I have a torch right now? I do, I should always hold at least one torch. But I need to go way down there then, and that'll be a big goal, so. What, well, is there like a shrine anywhere up here? I guess not, so I'll have to like bring it all the way up. Wait, you're mine, you're mine. Oh, come on, that's not fair, he just disappeared. All right, well, let's go for it. I'll have to carry it all the way back up. That's fine. So there's not, is that another shrine? That one's blue though. Or maybe that's the flame? That might actually be the flame. Because the shrine is over that one. Yeah, this actually might be the, oh, it totally is. So we gotta bring that from there to here. If we could somehow shortcut it, so that we could get across here, that would be really nice, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Because if we put our torch away, the flame goes away. Look at us, so cool. We're just able to make our way straight over there. All right, so we have this torch right here. Hi-ya, blue flame, blue flame, mm -mm, blue flame. I got the blue flame, it's in my hands. Got a plan, it's called walk into the mountain. Walk into the fountain. I, I don't know how it's a, it's not a fountain. I'm just trying to rhyme. So I can't, I don't think I can run at full speed. Jeez, like do I have to plop down here? <laughs> I guess I do. Like does this have like, I don't know. As long as it's like not a strong gust of wind or evil froggies trying to ruin my day, it should be fine. Well, I'm just gonna keep running. If we keep running, everything should be okay. I love her hood, by the way. It just makes this look so super cool. I definitely have to earn up more rupees to buy some more soon. But that's why I wanna like go ahead and do some, you know, easy peasy stuff, earn up a ton of rupees, sell a bunch of stuff, work with that, try to get myself buffed up for the future ahead. Cause I have a feeling things are gonna get pretty tough. I mean, things are already pretty darn tough with those tri people, you know, chasing us around and trying to beat us up. And it's been hard to defeat them for the most part. I've had to eat every time I battle them. It's hard to keep up with. They take out like more than two thirds of my health. Is this person chasing me around? You better not be trying to take care of my fire. You know what they say about people, you know, like what happens to people when you play with fire? Imagine playing with a dangerous swordsman who has fire in his hands. You know, that just sort of seems extra dangerous. You might get beat up and you'll be lit on fire. Anyways, we're more than halfway there now. So I think things are gonna turn out okay. Unless like there is like some kind of scripted thing that's going to happen that's going to guarantee that our flame's gonna be, you know, blown away. But we're running. Link's legs definitely get a good workout in this game. <laughs> I wonder if we could have held it. No, I don't think we could have held it while we were um, what's it called? Um, on Sky. So maybe it was a good idea that we left Sky where she was. I don't know though. Hopefully we can catch back up with her. I just wish we could bring her with us when we teleport, but I don't think we can. Maybe if I find her again, I'll try to teleport to a shrine once, like, like we're, while we're on her, and just see, sort of see what happens. But for right now, I'm almost there. Come on, we're getting up there. Oh, can I light these too? Oh, maybe that's a good idea. Hey, so now, if I do mess up, I got myself basically a little checkpoint, which is exactly what I might need. 
I have to keep that in mind. I don't know how I didn't piece that together before. I could also light a, you know, a tree on fire, but that might be a worse idea. And is this a furnace? I think so. Um, no. Where's the furnace at, game? Up here, maybe? Oh, these are some weird steps. I love this building, because honestly, it does remind me of the, you know, the beginning building in Jack and Dexter that Samos the Sage lives in. Is the furnace up here? Where is the furnace? Um, I don't know. Oh, there we go, I just had to press the action button. I mean, I just thought that I'd walk up to it, just like the, you know, the, uh, the what's it called, the torch over there. Atino Ancient Tech Lab is now set as a travel gate. Oh, cool, now we can travel up here. Way easier, way, way easier. All right, lady, I got it figured out for it. I'm gonna talk to you. Actually, let me talk to you first. Hey, Yoon. Linky, thank you so much. Now, now then, take a look over there. The guidance stone must be starting to react. There's nothing but mis there's nothing mysterious about it. This is pure science, huh? My sweet little guidance stone. You sure know how to make this old researcher heart flutter. Well then, let's go ahead and restore that Sheikah, those Sheikah slates. The Sheikah slates ruined for you. Give me a nice snap. Go on. No time to be shy about it. Snap? Hmm. That was pretty weak, but that's okay. What do you mean by snap? Okay then, Sheikah Slate repair underway. Guidance stone lock removed. Now, let's do this thing. Whatever you want, lady. Pop that baby in there. Camera Hyrule Compendium and album, album missing files confirmed. Nice, starting repair. Ooh, we're gonna get a whole package deal of stuff. Hopefully it doesn't charge our credit card too much. You know what they do with these you know, mobile devices nowadays is everything's a, a dollar sign. You want a good app, $2.99. You want the app without ads, $59.99. That's not what they do. <laughs> Instantly render a visible image into a picture with the camera. Pictures created are saved in the album. It has a useful feature that connects the Hyrule Compendium and automatically registers pictures of new entries. It also posts them to Instagram, so don't post anything embarrassing. Ooh, there's already photos here. This has been used. I bought a used product. I paid full retail price. Okay, I guess I have those slots for myself. Repair complete. Oh, we can take pictures of all the creatures in the game, huh? Is that like, like a little like photo book, basically? That's cool. <laughs> and it's done. So, it's is it all fixed up now? Hmm, let's see here. Which one is it? Camera, Hyrule Compendium, album, yup, looks good. So, I know this is sudden, but hear me out. Take a picture of, the, of me with the camera. Oh, and don't forget to let me see it. Sure. Um. Snap! How's the picture taking going? Did you get, wait, how do I? How do I? Which one of the Sheikahs? Oh, okay, so. Okay, okay, I think I got it. Let me go ahead. Camera. No, gosh darn it. I know, one moment. Don't need the stress. I know, I know. There we go. This is per aunt ready. Trapture. There you go. Oh, that's cute. Save. Let's do another one, like that. <laughs> okay, we don't need to. Snap, and then, yep, how's the picture taking going? Uh, let's see, I took one. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Let me see, let me see. Here you go. <laughs> I don't think it looks bad. Hmm? My, who is this beautiful young creature? It's Yoon. Huh? Oh, I guess that's my Kyun. Sorry, I kind of lost it there. It wasn't on purpose. Hmm. Oh, it's just not that pretty girl in these. It's not just a pretty girl in these images. Yes, there's also some old landscape photos stored in the album. I knew Princess Zelda had made frequent use of the camera feature, but this. Hey, Linkin, it draw, it draw, it dawns on me that you were Princess Zelda's appointed knight, which means there's a strong possibility that you accompanied her to all these places where these pictures were taken. Oh, right, the lost memory thing could prove troublesome, but don't lose hope. It means that these pictures could be the missing piece to help restore your lost memories. If my hunch is correct, I suggest you check out, check in with Impun. She knows more about Princess Zelda than even I do. So we can like restore our memories? Oh yeah, there's just one more thing I need from you. You don't need to have to worry about this until you see 
Impa, but I want you to bring me back some ancient materials. Bring them either to me or to Robbie at Akala Ancient Tech Lab. As if my joy weren't enough, if you bring us ancient materials, we'll give you something good as a reward. All right, let's do this. All right, I have some. Snap, something on your mind, something good, who's Robbie? Yeah, well, first of all, who's Robbie? Robbie is my subordinate. There, I said it. I think he's still up on the edge of Akala re researching guardians. Haven't seen him in a hundred years though, so who knows? Anything else? Um, something good? Haha, <laughs> I'm glad you asked. If you bring me some ancient materials, I'll power up your runes. You'll need three ancient screws to power up your Sheikah sensor. You'll need three ancient shafts to power up your remote bombs. You'll need three ancient cores to power up stasis. If we're on the same page, stop staring at me. Hurry up and bring me some ancient materials. All right, Robbie's research. Hey, I think you should go see Impa first, but if you're saying uh, you already have some ancient materials, then why don't we go ahead and power up your Sheikah Slate? Ancient materials, uh, now then. In exchange for those ancient materials, I'll power up a rune. I'm game. Yeah, we already know. So which rune do you want to power up? Uh, remote bomb if we have anything. Remote bomb power up time, yahoo. Uh, for that, I'll need three ancient shafts. Um, do I, hold it, stop everything, you don't have the necessary materials, you'll need three ancient shafts. I don't know how many, I don't know how many I have. Um, so, let's try Sheikah Sensor. Power of time, you'll need three inch screws, yep. Three inch screws, and cute snap, here I go! Snap, hey ho, got it! Okay then, Sheikah Sensor upgrade underway. Guidance stone lock removed. Now, let's do this thing. I gotta walk over there again, or does it do this automatically? Thank you. Just to want to sort of streamline this process as much as possible because it's lengthy. I got I got viewers here. I got viewers and they have time, I have time, and it constantly is being used every moment the universe exists. So let's keep this going. Can I skip this? I don't think I can. I cannot. All right, well, we're sitting through it together. We're sitting through it together, me and you, mano y mano. Okay, we did it. So Sheikah Sensor Plus, searching for compendium items. If your sensor has been augmented to search for things other than shrines, it will react when you are close to the thing you have said to look for, head in the direction where the reaction is strongest, and you should be able to find the thing you are looking for. What does that really mean? Like, can I, like, what can I start to do? Sheikah Sensor, so blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Maybe I should upgrade some of this stuff later. I don't really know. Because like I said, there's still more meat to this episode I wanted than just pure dialogue reading, which has been what it's been mostly. Uh, my little guidance stone did the trick. Oh, the Sheikah Sensor Plus! I really blah blah blah. Yes, quite. So if you don't mind, how about showing Simon that spiffy Sheikah? Oh, wait, no, that was that turn. Okay. <laughs> I don't know uh, whose voice I'm doing. Hello! You've acquired the Sheikah Sensor Plus. That should really come in handy. With that, you can sense things that you've captured with your camera. Explaining won't do it justice. Why not learn by trying? Let's give it a shot, so to speak. Let's see here. First, go take a picture with the sunshroom with the camera. Um, there is one behind the lab. Okay, sunshroom sensing. Is this PVZ all of a sudden? <laughs> I mean, I guess sunshrooms are real. At least in this game. I don't know if they're real in real life. I don't know. Is this sunstream a thing? I can only assume this is what he's talking about, so let's go ahead and take a pick. Yep, this is a sunstream. So you can learn some, what it is before you uh, pick it up. There you go. All right then, so boom. A bright red mushroom that grows in hot climates imbued with the power of heat that can be used to cook dishes that will allow you to endure the bitter cold. Cool, I don't want to climb up that. I want to go back, and what is this? This is a farming, oh, okay, I don't need that. I actually have one already, so I will keep the one I have Please and thank you. Let's go ahead and go back in. Hello. I love that there's no loading screen having to go inside small buildings like this. Ah, were you able to take a picture of the sunstream? Yes. Let me confirm. Good enough for you, buddy. It seems like you got a picture of the sunstream. Excellent. Next, open your Hyrule Compendium and the tune the sensor to the to your picture of the sunstream. The Sheikah sensor will then be able to send sunstreams. Oh, that's actually really cool. The detailed instructions are written down in the book on the desk there. You should read them. It seems like a nice opportunity to ask you if you'd mind bringing me three sunstreams. If you can find sunstreams growing in Restum Forest, I believe, the Sheikah sensor plus should make a snap. Okay, so that is sunstream sensing updated. So, where's all that kind of stuff? Now that we've got like tons of stuff to do. 
Um, like, yeah, like these are just side quests. Now that you've registered Sunshroom, go north of Atino Village to Restum Forest. Find three sun wild Sunshrooms there. So where is Restum? North would be up here. Really what I need to do before I do any of that is get that tower. Like that's my big focus right now. So we're gonna fly all the way back down, as far back down as I can, and we're gonna get a shrine done. Preferably the one that was right next to town. So if I can find that one again, that'd be great. And that's definitely a big focus for today's episode. Just that way I can, you know, easily go to Hitino Village whenever I need to. I mean, of course I have this one behind me now, but it would just be extra helpful to have this one as well. So two for the price of one, basically. And then we'll probably, like I said, make our way to earlier parts in the game. Well, no, I gotta get that tower. I gotta get that tower, and then we'll do that kind of stuff. Ooh, I'm almost here. Awesome. So let's get to the top of this. Where can I find myself? More stuff, because I want more stuff, huh? Hmm, Hatina Village again, of course. It's saving, which is great. It was going off. Oh, yep, it's going off again. Hmm, I know it's somewhere around here, because I saw it with my own zebra eyes but now I don't see it anymore. Oh, it's right here. Okay, that's actually a really easy location. Wop, wop, ha, <laughs> okay then. The Miyama Agna Shrine. All right, let's go ahead and give this one a shot and you know see how things work out. Okay, here we are. So this one doesn't look like it's giving us a new rune. To you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Maya Agna. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial as per usual. Okay then, so what is going on with this one? It looks like another one where we have to follow falling boulders of some sort. What is that thing up there? I think that whatever that thing is is probably key to what we're doing here. And maybe this is gonna be like a shrine we can't do. Like, I don't know. Like maybe there's like a rune we haven't gotten yet that might actually allow us to do a shrine. I don't know, that's, that's possible I guess, but maybe I could just fly into there and just get it done. Examine. Oh my. Oh gosh. Whoa, this is controller. Is this like Super Monkey Ball? What is this? Okay, I don't like this. I don't really like gimmicks like this. I would just like to play the game, you know, with the controller and not this motion sensor stuff. It's very difficult for me. Oh, very difficult. I'm glad I'm not using it. No, it's upside down. You know, just make it. Yeah, there you go. Give up. <laughs> Come on. Oh, maybe I could cheese it. Maybe I could cheese it when the ball is falling, try to cap catch it, like on a different, like, rung. That would be easy. I don't know if that's gonna happen though, cause like the, the exit's like right next to the entrance. Like, so if I go like this, what? and just flick it. No, I can't. I don't know if that's gonna work then. That would be so nice though if I could just cheese it out. This is tough though. Like, I'm gonna give it one more shot. I really don't like these kind. I wish I could move it with the controller, but I cannot. Oh, uh, I hate force gimmicks. Like I could totally get it like, you know, like if you could still use the controller, like joystick to do this, but this is like really why I didn't like most Nintendo Wii exclusives. Oh no, come on, come on, no! Flip it, land it, no, come on! Well, there's a chest in there. How do I get the chest? You know what, I probably have to go there myself. Like I can smack it with this ball, that's not gonna do anything. But now that it's here, all I need to do is roll it this way, right? I sure hope so. Like, let's roll it this way, and then make sure, oh geez, this is gonna be tough, ain't it? It's gonna be really tough. Ready, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, and then flick it up. Yes. No! Are you kidding me? That is the biggest bowl of malarkey that I've ever been delivered to my kitchen table. Wait a minute. Are you kidding me? I could just do this. It's, it's actually really tough to control this way. I could just do this though. Oh my gosh. No way. It's just this frying, plant, frying pan flip you gotta do at the end is the tough part. But this is, this is the easy one. It's definitely harder to control this way, but oh my gosh, this is the way you do it. This is the way you do it. Uh, maybe not, I don't know. Oh boy. Yes, I did it, I did it, please, 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 please. It's going, Nintendo. I thought that we left that behind in the Wii U days. Come on, don't do this kind of stuff. That better be a one-of-a-kind shrine, because there's a lot like that. I can tell you, totally not a fan. Like, I just, I don't know, I have a very big vendetta against games that are primarily open to console controls. Oh, I gotta, I'll be right back. I gotta get that chest. But I really don't like that, especially because 
I mean, honestly, just because I know a lot of disabled gamers, especially through the Zebra Herd, there are quite a few disabled gamers, and just like, that kind of forced mechanic, there's some people who don't have the one thing, the motorized mobility skills, or maybe even not the, you know, proper, you know, limbs or, you know, many different things that they just cannot support motion controls like that. So it's just one of those things where it's like, it's really frustrating having that, and I ran about it any chance I get, you know? Let's go ahead and do that. And I remember uh, feeling that situation like in full force uh, back when I was younger, like back in like 2009 when I was about like 13, I had broken my arm and then there were just certain games on the Nintendo Wii I could not play. Like, and I'm not talking like, you know, oh, I, oh my gosh. I couldn't play, you know, Mario Party with the motion controls, or like, I couldn't play like Wii Tennis, like, duh, I can't play those games, I have a broken arm. But I couldn't play, you know, flagship Mario games like Super Mario Galaxy, or, um, like, uh, New Super Mario Brothers Wii because of the waggle thing. And it was just like, those kind of things that are so restrictive to p players who might not have full mobility skills, which is an incredible amount of gamers, I stink at this game. So I just, I really, I'm just, I'm not a fan. Just, just flat out. <sighs> Okay, I can't do it again. Or I'm gonna die. Okay, maybe I maybe I don't want whatever in this chair. It's gotta be good. If it's like an apple, I'm gonna be so done for the day. We got this annoying motion control stuff, and then just like a bad gift. I don't know how I feel about that. Come on, come on. I was supposed to do it like that the whole time. <laughs> I'm a big dingus, but we all knew that already. Not a surprise. Okay, I don't want to accidentally walk off the edge, please. Um, yeah, let's go around this way. Come on now, come on. I wonder if I could have just came here, picked up the ball, and then threw it over. I guess that could have been possible. Frenic bow. A bow passed down through the Sheikah tribe, concentrating before drawing the string will allow the target distance distant enemies as easily as those nearby. The inventory's full. Okay, I'm definitely dropping something for that because that looks pretty darn sweet. Um, yeah, definitely gonna drop one of these wimpy bows so I can pick up a cool one. That's cool though, I'm getting cool new stuff, the Phrenic Bow. Okay, let's go ahead and finish this temple. All right then, so I got myself love the Spirit Orb. We're gonna head out of here now. I've got, I've had enough of this, sh this, you know, shrine. It's not as fun as some of the other ones. Go, bring me back to the one we did before. That one was easy, it was simple, it was fun. This one was a pain in the booty. Okay, so we've made a fair amount of progress in today's episode, but I still think I'm gonna do what I said I was gonna do. And now that we've gotten that done, We'll make our way over to the tower. So we kind of always get started on our journey and we'll see what we can do from there. But yeah, I mean, pretty good stuff so far. I really want to just get this cleared out so that we can see what we're what we're doing, where we're going. Um, Uh-oh. Is this that red moon that they were talking about? The blood moon? Uh-oh. Yeah, that's pretty bloody looking. Link. Link. Be on your guard. Ganon's power grows. It rises to its peak under the hour of the blood moon. By its glow, the aimless spirits of monsters slain in the name of the light return to flesh. Link, please be careful. Will do, princess, will do. So everything we've now, you know, previously slain is back. Which maybe that's a good thing too. Like maybe that means I can also um, what's it called? Hopefully, like that means that like the prizes we get for slaying those said beasts will also come back. We'll find out once we get back to that you know the main area of the game. But for right now, I just want to get this tower. Which honestly, doesn't look too bad. There's like one Bokoblin thing set up right here. So I'm probably gonna end the episode right before we get there. But yeah. I've been having so much fun with this game. It's been an absolute blast. I hope you guys have been enjoying it with me. Previous episode, episode five, you guys supported it and you know you were telling me you really don't want me to end a series and I listen and respect that. Once again, I can't confirm how often the series will be at the end of the day, but I will do my best to, you know, make it as often as I can, fit it in where I can. You know, like where I typically upload three videos, I'll try to upload this as a fourth video, just, you know, to serve those who like the series because, you know, everybody here in the Zebra Herd matters to me. With that being said, I'm gonna finish it up right here in the next episode, we'll take on this Bokoblin tribe and we will, um, can you guys get out of here? Hold on. Catch, we'll take on the Bokoblin tribe and I'm, I'm not gonna do this the, the old fashioned way. Oh, I got two sickles, cool. But uh, 
We'll take on the Pokemon tribe, and we'll take on the tower, and then we'll explore some and try to just sort of get ourselves count up. Get, ooh, fairy. This fairy will, will fly from your pouch and heal all your wounds the moment you lose your last heart. It's easily mistaken for a firefly at first, but it glows in the daylight as well as night. Why didn't Why didn't it work for him then? <laughs> no, you get back here. Ah, oh, not happening. Come on, run, 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 run. Gotcha. All right, then there we go. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, share with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watched this point of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Runes so I know you've watched the video and that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.